Hello, welcome to European Open Briefing for Thursday, February 7th. I'm Rafael Barajan, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be having a look at what's happening in the currency markets today. So somewhat uh, muted uh, risk sentiment this morning. Uh, we can see Asian markets, uh, equity markets were mixed, uh, though we did see very strong gains in Australia, uh, mainly due to the Aussie's slump, the Aussie came under pressure yesterday, of course, uh, from a surprise dovish tilt uh, by the RBA, uh, and the Kiwi is also under pressure. We had disappointing job numbers out of New New Zealand, uh, New Zealand dollar extending its gains down by, uh, th sorry, extending its losses down by a further 0.3% uh, this morning, also slipping below the 0.71 uh, level. Uh, the dollar, though the US dollar is not doing too badly, it's actually uh, edged up towards uh, two week highs. Uh, there is a um, Still, of course, some caution due to the ongoing trade talks between the US uh, and China and the possible government shutdown uh, next week. Uh, but the dollar is mainly ga gaining on the back of weakness in other majors, uh, particularly the euro. Um, which uh, has uh, itself uh, slipped to two-week lows. It's currently trading around 1.1350. Uh, we had more disappointing data out of Germany. Sterling is testing the 1.29 handle. Uh, we've got the Bank of England policy meeting uh, later today. Uh, and also Theresa May is heading to Brussels uh, for further talks with the EU uh, on the backstop. Uh, the Canadian dollar uh, is uh, lower as well as uh, we're seeing oil prices uh, losing their uh, steam, the, the rally losing their steam, WTI has uh, slipped below $54 a barrel a level. Gold prices uh, also uh, s f going heading downwards uh, this morning as the US dollar uh, regains some uh, posture. Uh, so looking now at the dollar index, uh, we can see it's been steadily uh, climbing since uh, late January. We did hear some remarks from Fed's Powell yesterday that the US economy is in a good place. Um, so they didn't receive too, too much of a uh, market reaction. Um, the main concern is a possible government shutdown next week. Uh, but there are hopes that uh, the next round of US-China trade talks, which have now been confirmed, they will uh, take place next week, uh, that those uh, could produce uh, some more, uh, more uh, uh, could produce concrete progress um, in the in the negotiations. Uh, and we can see uh, the OZ uh, heading further downwards uh, this morning. Uh, the New Zealand dollar yesterday followed the OZ, but this morning there was uh, actually uh, the domestic data out of New Zealand, which disappointed. We saw the unemployment rate surprisingly jumping from uh, upwardly revised 4% to 4.3% in the fourth quarter. Uh, wage growth uh, was slightly below expectations and jobs growth uh, slowed to just 0.1%. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand holds its policy meeting next week uh, and following that data, uh, they're likely, they will likely maintain or possibly even strengthen their dovish bias um, at the first meeting for 2019. Uh, looking at the euro, we can see uh, it slipped to two week low 1.1343. Industrial production out of Germany disappointed. Yesterday we had uh, weaker than expected industrial orders numbers. So the bad data continues to come in for the eurozone uh, economy. Sterling not faring any better either. Uh, it briefly fell below the 1.29 level. The focus today will be on the Bank of England's policy decision. Uh, that's to come at 12 hours GMT and 1230 we're going to hear uh, from the governor Mark Carney. Uh, the Bank of England will likely hold rates and warn of uh, increased downside risks um, uh, mainly due to slowdown in global growth as well as of course the increased uh, chances of a no deal uh, Brexit. Uh, so Theresa May will be uh, holding talks today with the EU to try and uh, win concessions on the backstop. The EU has so far refused to make any changes. Uh, the only thing that they are willing to do is to uh, provide some further assurances um, by enhancing the political declaration on future relationship. Uh, and if Theresa May doesn't uh, get anything out of uh, Brussels uh, this week. Uh, next week's planned vote, uh, the second vote on the Brexit deal could be delayed until the end of February. So that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.